So in today's video, I'll be doing sort of a week in the life here at White Cottage Company, showing you all what we got done last week preparing for the Harvest Fest. I had talked about that recently on here. Uh, we had a fall festival here locally in Berlin, Ohio, and last week we spent most of the time preparing for this. It was so much fun. I thought I'd take you guys with us as we work on some of these things. But before we get into that, in case you're new here, welcome. My name's Mary, and here on YouTube, I like to share many of the projects I have going on around here with you all. So let's get right into it. So to start out our week, we actually needed to work on these posters first. They needed to be trimmed down and shipped out, uh, making room you know, to work on other things, but I thought I'd stick that in here. And in case you missed it, we do have these. They're either a set of four for all the four different seasons, along with you know wooden hangers to hang them with. So you kind of have an interchangeable wall art and they're also available individually. I know I talk a lot about decor transfers on here, but I really enjoy working with these. And here I'm making some shutter signs for the festival. And I do get most of my transfers from Patterson Art Studio in case you wanna check them out. Have their link down below in the description box. We have these wooden crates that we stock on the Etsy shop and we do want to make some for the festival and most of them get a logo on the one end, either the round white cottage company logo or we have one that's really fitting for the fall season with little uh, wheat. Why I'm saying what what way? Sprigs. We've discovered that staining anything that has multiple pieces is just so much easier to stain each piece individually. I mean, you could, of course, you know, wait until everything's put together, but um, it's just, again, a lot easier to just do every piece separately. Uh, these crates, of course, have multiple pieces.
getting back to the poster hangers i thought i'd show you guys since we had talked about them but we ended up investing in a drill press and this is one of the greatest things ever um, john is drilling holes on the back of the hangers for the magnets and it's just one of those tools where you kind of wonder how you could have been without all these years but we are definitely enjoying it want to have some body butter in the festival and here MB is making some. She's really good at this. Um, honestly, in the past I've made it and mine just doesn't turn out as good as hers. So I often just get her to make it. Um, here she's making two different scents, a lavender vanilla and a roasted chestnut, which is a really fall smelling scent. We are having so much fun with this new laser engraver. I had done a separate video on it, but it's the X-Tool P2, and it's just an amazing machine. I'm still kind of learning more about it every time I use it, but um, definitely have some product in our booth that is done by this machine. As we finish with the different products, we set everything, you know, into the Etsy shop, part of the shop. Um, that way it's, you know, out of all the sanding dust over in the other part. And as you can see, everything looks a little bit chaotic, but we managed to get it done. And we even partially set up the booth display um, just so that we'd have an idea once we get over into town, then we'd know kind of how we want to set things up, you know, on the display. It always helps to do that beforehand. My cousin Susie had made some soap for us and here John is ready to go pick that up. We normally use these boxes to put it in and here he's trying to be a little bit tricky with his balancing act. I ended up using the laser engraver for our price tags. Um, that really saved us from having to tag everything. Now, honestly, in the future, I might try to do more of the individual tagging, but we were kind of on a time frame here, and this really helped us out to just make these little signs. I know for myself, if I'm shopping somewhere, I really like if everything is tagged. And I think most people ended up, you know, seeing the signs and kind of got the pricing system here. But um, again, just, yeah, for the future, I think I'd probably go the other route. Here we're ready to load up. So exciting. Uh, this has been so much fun getting ready for this.
we ended up buying a 10 by 10 canopy. Uh, first, we started to put that up and then we saw our metal braces in the middle like came down too far so that we couldn't have our little roof on the booth. Uh, so we ended up borrowing a tent that was 10 by 20 from someone from our church. Uh, they kindly let us use it and we remembered we had used it in the past in the vintage fair and that one actually ended up having metal braces the same way as the other one. So to make a long story short, I guess we ended up not even using the fabric part of our little roof on our booth, uh, which it was fine. At least we had the structure, you know, to set things on, but I thought it would have been really cute, you know, having that fabric. So maybe next time. We ended up not getting any video footage of the actual festival once, you know, people were there. And it always feels kind of odd, like you don't want to have your camera up and running when people are shopping or um, it just seems rude to me. But I would have loved if somebody would have taken just a few clips of, you know, just even from a distance. Um, kind of the action that was going on but we were really pleased with you know how many people showed up it was definitely worth it and my favorite part was just meeting you guys uh, many of you made the effort and came out and um, it just meant so much it was so much fun you know chatting with you and just you know taking pictures and um, it just really encouraged me and i've mentioned this before you know how i'm just blown away at how many nice kind people are out there and I just uh, was so encouraged. So thank you guys for taking the time to come see us. So the festival was Fridays and Saturdays and thankfully the weather was just perfect. I mean, it wasn't, you know, sunny. It was actually relatively cloudy, but that kind of helped. So it wasn't as hot. But my thing was, I just had prayed that we wouldn't get wind. I just hate wind and tents and I know other people feel the same way. So thankfully everything was okay and went really smoothly with, you know, weather wise. Um, so I did have a really good experience, you know, overall with, with that.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different from my normal ones, but hopefully you were able to get some sort of inspiration from it, maybe ideas of things you'd want to create for yourself. And then of course some of these items are available on the Etsy shop. We did have some leftovers, so make sure to check that out if you're at all interested. And like I mentioned earlier, I was a bit sad that we didn't get actual video footage of when the festival was in full swing, but uh, it's okay. I just wanted you guys to know though that I really, really appreciated everyone that came out. It was one of the most fun weekends I've had recently, just you know, meeting you guys and just the talks that we had. And I gotta say, I have some new inspiration going around in my head. Like you guys gave me so many ideas of things I'd wanna try. So I guess we kind of fuel each other or something, right? So thanks guys for watching. As always, I hope your day is going great and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.